Happy Friday, everybody. So, the jiggling that you hear in the background, my son called during my canning escapade that I'll actually post later. So it still has uh, 21 minutes left on it, because um, it has to go for 90. So today's dinner is the last of our depression series, and it is called Beans and Potatoes. Potato and Beans Supper, sorry, that's what it is. So all it is, is we took up and chopped up potatoes, fried them in butter. Of course, she does the thing where she boils the potatoes first. I'm sorry, but that just grosses me out. Because, you know, when you boil potatoes like that, they get that kind of grit until they're really, really done done. So I think after you fry them like that, it just it doesn't taste good to me. So then we took a can of Bush's Baked Beans. So we're going to add that to them, Jack. And then we have homemade bread with um, my uh, homemade um, blackberry jam to go with it. I'm telling you, the one thing I've learned about this week, we went through almost 20 pounds of potatoes. They really went through a lot of potatoes. So, it'll be a minute before we do the depression ones, unless, of course, our economy keeps doing what it's doing. So, um, then we're going to stir it all together. Try no, Use a spoon so we don't mush it. Oh. That's a guy before. So, we're going to stir it up. And actually, the guy that was in the video, he added ketchup to the top of it because he says all potatoes need ketchup and I feel that way too, except for mashed potatoes. But so, I'll probably add ketchup to it too. <laughs> because I just think it should have ketchup as well. So you're gonna basically heat it up until it's nice and warm and then serve it. I will tell you guys something and Jack can probably confirm this. Everything that we've made so far this week with the, um, depression meals they were all a very tasty yes they was they were very good I mean they were they're just a few dollars per meal and I will tell you that when you get everything put in there and get it all put together it is a big meal isn't it Jack? oh yeah it's a very big meal so if you have a larger family you know um, I mean like four or five people you know you could easily feed them in one meal you know, especially if you added, like, bread or something to it. And, um, like, they use it for lunch the next day. And then, of course, I pack for my husband the next day. But I'm going to tell you, they were A, yummy. And B, they were very filling. And C, they made quite a bit. And, you know, when, when we're trying to do economical shopping and economical cooking, those are the three things that we want. We don't want to, we don't want to serve our family sludge. I mean, that's gross. So if we can, you know, to cut back on money, you know, um, those recipes were really, really good. And they didn't take long. Not a lot of prep. A little more hot dogs than I care for since I'm not a hot dog person. But actually, you couldn't even really... The hot dogs weren't overpowering, were they, Jack? Not at no. all. They were really good, actually. I thought about adding... We had some sausage today that we had left from yesterday that we could add to this. I mean, if you want me to cut those up, we can. Oh, yeah. We'll grab it out of the thing. Um, we did have some sausage left from yesterday. And I thought, you know, we could add a little bit of meat to this. But if you didn't want to, beans have a lot of, you know, um, protein in them. So, and she used canned beans because back in Depression time, I just found this out, actually. During Depression time, macaroni and cheese became a thing, and so did hot dogs, and so did the, the sausages. So it is something from Depression time, and they became very popular then. I'll put that in one of them. And so they, their meats were very cheap. Anything that they could add to it. Um, I was thinking about doing the meatloaf, but honestly, guys, yeah. It's nothing close to what my meatloaf would be, and it just did not sound flavorful at all. And so I was like a hard no on that. But there's several other recipes that um, were very, very, they were nice. Um, the one was, pardon the expression, shit on the shingles. My sister makes it quite a bit. I've never made it, because I've never made gravy. 
Um, but I think I'll have her teach me how to make the gravy and then I can actually make it sometime. We do ours with hamburger and milk. Um, it's pretty good that way. Um, oh, starting tomorrow, we are going to probably do um, a canned food um, segment. So it's going to be things that I have canned that we're going to make into meals. I know one of the meals that we're going to make is, um, I made beef stew. So we're going to make um, beef, beef pot pie. That's one of them that I know. Um, right now, what's canning is the, uh, what is it, burrito in a jar. <laughs> so we'll probably do that one day this next week. I am going to can chili tomorrow as well. So there is something I'm going to use with my chili. I only have one jar left, so I had to can more. Um, and then one week we're going to do, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to do a pantry series. Jack and I talked about it today already. Things that you would have in your pantry or possibly in your freezer that if you're trying to keep your food rotated and you want to get used up, I'm going to try to find some great recipes that you can do with what they call pantry recipes. So I think that's what we're going to kind of do for the next two weeks. Um, trying to cut down on the grocery bill, so we'll see what we can do. So this is, you won't need us to come in the finale. So this is what it looks like. And it smells really, really good. So I won't need to come back for that video. But I will come back with the canning video that I did earlier. Normally I'd give you step by step and I'll do that tomorrow when I do my chili. But like I say, my son was on the phone and ended up taking a lot longer than I thought. But um, like I say, be a blessing to everyone. Love everybody. Take care of your family and look out for whatever's coming up because some things I don't think is very good. But you have a great night and enjoy some of these recipes. Uh, bye. <laughs> Jack has to get by him. See you guys later.